everybody. Welcome back to the Gamerpreneur Podcast. I'm your host, Dr. Bradford Carlton. Today, we are talking about what happens when they don't show up. You know, maybe you've been sitting there putting out all this content and you go to check your stats and nobody watched it. Nobody's there to watch you live. Nobody comes when you like have an event. You're like, what's what are you going to do? How does that feel? Well, first of all, it probably sucks, right? I mean, we've all been there. Everybody starts somewhere. Everybody has to begin at zero. That's just how it works. You know, there's some people who are like, I've got a list of like 500 friends and family. I just got to hit an email and like, I'm going to have 20 people. Like, don't worry about them. All right. You know, everybody else who has to grind through it, who has to work through it, has to figure these things out. You got to, you got to put in the effort and you got to go through the heartbreak and disappointment of, you know, people just not showing up, you know, just as an example, um, I had a different idea for this episode and I was waiting on a call for somebody before I decided to record this and they didn't show up. And, you know, it's my, my calendar is actually fairly full most of the time. And it kind of sucks when I have a slot filled with somebody and like a half hour to 45 minute slot that I could be doing something productive, but instead I have to schluck my way or schluff my way over to my computer, you know, boot this whole thing up and sit here and just wait instead of, you know, going to get, enjoy my daughter or spend time with my family or cooking something for dinner. Like I could be doing something more than just sitting here and waiting for someone to not show Show up. And, you know, I, I feel so many content creators, streamers out there just kind of have that same feeling, right? You know, you want something more, you want it to grow, but no one's there. And it hurts. It, like you feel that pain of just no one showing up. And, you know, what do you do? Well, you could mope about it. You can complain that, oh, you know, it's just the way it is. Everybody's got to go through like four or five years of just sucking it up until you start to get some traction. Or you can devise a strategy to actually find people to watch your stuff. Okay. Um, you know, and a great example would be, you know, the Gamerpreneur. My YouTube channel gets like nobody watching it. Like nobody watches my stuff. And it's actually really funny. Um, like I post on uh, my YouTube video links on LinkedIn, on Twitter, on Instagram. And those are the, the platforms I post my YouTube link, trying to drive traffic there. But my you, my Instagram has 700 people. My Twitter has like 670 people. My LinkedIn has like 25, 2700 people. I'm not doing too bad on LinkedIn. Um, but generally people don't watch my show off of there. But then you go over to Facebook where I upload my show directly to Facebook. And those episodes can get anywhere from a thousand to 2000 to 3000 views, depending on who it is and, you know, the topic. And so it's, it's really kind of funny to me that, you know, someone would look at just that narrow little bit over on, on YouTube and go, oh, this person's not doing anything. They've, they're wasting their time. All this content they're doing is for naught. But if you just looked over at Facebook, like, oh, this person's actually doing pretty good. They get a decent amount of views, like blah, 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 right? The point I'm trying to make is maybe your focus is in the wrong place. Maybe you're trying too hard to make something happen in one place when you really need to be focusing on another place. Or even better, maybe you can grow a following somewhere else and then transport them to where you want to be. And you know, I'll admit, I have not really done much of any effort whatsoever to really grow my Twitter, to grow my Instagram or my LinkedIn. Like those have never been a priority for me. Um, as soon as I found Facebook and it just started blowing up, I went full in on that because that's what you gotta do. If people are looking at you and they're talking with you and they're engaging with you on one platform, spend your time there, you found your audience. So, you know, I understand the pain of not having any viewers, not having any followers. I've been there and on some platforms, I'm still there, right? It doesn't mean you're gonna stay there forever. You know, continuing that Facebook, you know, tray, uh, trend. I, um, last summer, roughly June-ish, um, 2020, I decided I was going to start going live every day. I was gonna teach some business concepts, some business principle. I made like these nice little PowerPoints every day and I was just teaching people, okay? And day one, I had zero viewers. Day two, I had zero viewers. Day three, I had zero viewers. And, you know, I felt that like, oh, right? I felt that. And then day four, I got a viewer who's like, Hey, this is really good stuff. And they shared it. And I got like two viewers and then I had two and then three and then three and then two and then five. And then like, eventually I was up to 20 concurrent viewers at a time every day. 
And like, all I did was continue to go live. And I was only going live for like half an hour. I wasn't even like streaming for hours at a time. It was like half an hour teaching a business concept, bouncing out. And, you know, what happened was I was able to find the people who were interested in it. How many of you are actually looking for the people who are interested in the type of content you're making? Or more importantly, how many of you are making content that is interesting to a particular type of people that you have picked? Not too many people out there do that. Not too many businesses do that. Not too many influencers do that. Definitely very few streamers do that. Like, I, you know, I, I see variety streamers. No offense to you, variety streamers. You've got a rough slog ahead of you. But you're like, I'm going to play the game I want to play because, like, I want to, like, enjoy what I'm doing. That's, a, you know, if, if a business, you know, just kind of translating this over. If business went, you know, we're going to make the kinds of products that we want to make. And we don't care whether anybody wants it because that's just how it is. Um, you know, great, like game development companies are a great idea or a great example. They'll make a game that they want to make. They'll put it out into the market and nobody buys it. And they go, oh, well, you know, let's make up another game that we want to make. And they, they put that out into the market and nobody buys it. They make another game that, you know, they want to make, put it out and nobody buys it. It's the same thing that like variety streamers are doing. You guys are so focused on your own personal enjoyment, your, your own utility. You're not focused on how the market works. All right. I know I'm in the gaming space and there's a lot of, um, uh, left-wing activism will say, and I don't do politics on this show. I'm just generally speaking, I've seen a lot of belief that down with commun or capitalism, down with capitalism and capitalism is the system that you're operating in. You kind of have to do these things if you want to see success until the revolution comes and things change, right? Like you kind of got to live by the rules that you're living with. So you know, play the game, play the game, go find an audience that wants something, okay? Doesn't matter if you have it or not yet. Go find an audience that wants something and then you give it to them. And if you give it to them and you're vocal about the fact that you're giving this out and you're letting people know that I'm doing this, people will eventually start to turn their eyeballs towards you and start to follow you and start to view your stuff and start to chat with you and engage with you. And if they really like your stuff and you've really like connected with them. They might even decide to become part of your community. And that means they're becoming long-term followers and fans, and they're going to keep coming back. You know, it's better than one-off viewers, right? But continuous viewers. And that's how you grow. But how many people have taken that step and actually considered what the audience wants before they have the audience? It's the chicken and the egg, right? Like, I well, I don't have an audience. So does it matter what I'm playing? Yes, it matters what you're playing because they're not going to, you know, people aren't going to watch something that they don't want to watch. And if you're just playing this and you get some people to watch you and then, you know, the next day you're playing something different and those people are coming back and they're like, oh, you're not playing the same thing. Well, I really wanted the same thing. I kind of liked you playing it. They're out. Okay. I hear, you know, Every day I post questions on my Facebook page, just trying to get to know gamers, to get to know streaming and esports and all this, like, this whole industry, right? And anytime I ask people, you know, why do you watch other people's streams? I always get told, well, it's because I like the streamer. And I don't know if that's actually true. I think intellectually that's true. People do that once they've gotten to know the streamer. But how did you end up on a random streamer who has one viewer for the first time? Like, how did you do that? Were you just like scrolling through like, oh, this guy's got an interesting looking overlay and you click it and you decide, okay, let's, let's see what this person's all about. Is that how it happened? Maybe they tweeted and you're like, hey, yeah, sure, I'll give them a try. Or was it you wanted to watch a specific game and, you know, this person seemed kind of, you know, not the biggest person on the, the page, not the smallest person, but you know, let's, let's give this person a shot. That, and they're like, oh, yeah, they're a little funny. I, I like the way they're playing it. Okay. And you start to enjoy them, but it probably wasn't them that sunk you the first time. So just reverse engineer that. How do you get people to watch you? Well, you got to give them red meat. All right. I get a lot of engagement on my channel, uh, on my Facebook page by putting out memes. All right. Gaming memes. Like they're not necessarily business related. They're gaming related. And people take a look at it and they're like, ha -ha, and they click the like button. And the next time they see another one from me, they click the like button and they click the like button. And eventually they see the little gamerpreneur, like wherever that is, gamerpreneur logo. And they're like, 
this person is pretty interesting. Like I've, I've seen their stuff. Let me check out their page. And they check out the page and like, that's interesting. I'd love to learn how to be a gamerpreneur. And then they follow my page. Then they start to see more of my content. They start to engage with my stuff. And now they're watching my stuff. And guess what? I built a follower, but it didn't start because they liked me, Bradford. Like that's not how it started. They had to, they had to give them what they wanted first. All right. So it may be super disappointing when nobody shows up, like when they don't show up, it sucks. I get that. But you really got to take a look at what you're doing. If you're not doing the right things, you can't blame other people for not coming to you. It's, it doesn't matter if you have a retail location, if you're like a jack in the box somewhere, right? And nobody's showing up. Well, are you letting anybody know you exist? If not, well, okay. Well, are you letting them know you have tacos? People love tacos. Well, okay, that's the thing. You have to really think of this in terms of a business person. All right. So I'm going to remind you all organization is the enemy of sloth. You have to get organized on this. You have to do the fundamentals, the groundwork of everything you're trying. If you are not putting the groundwork in up front, you are going to spin your wheels. Now you may get a little bit of traction, but like driving in the mud, that little bit of traction could have done a lot better if you'd thrown some sand under there first. That's your, that's your foundation. Get some two by fours under your tires in order to be able to drive. You have to think of these things in advance. So if you'd like some help on this, I'd be more than happy to reach out to me. I'd love to chat with you. I'll give you a free strategy session. We will dive down. I will figure out, you know, kind of the best path you can make in order to make something of your stream in the next 90 days. We will build out a plan for you and turn your stream into something in the next 90 days. Like I said, just reach out to me. We'll schedule a call. All right, everybody. Don't be just a gamer. Be a gamerpreneur. <laughs>